The test is about to begin. If you have any problem with the volume, please raise your hand now. The test is about to begin. If you have any problem with the volume, please raise your hand now. 本测验分三部分，全为四选一之选择题，共四十五题，作答时间约三十分钟。第一部分看图变异，共十五题，试题册上有数幅图画。每一图画有一到三个描述该图的题目。每题请听光碟放音机播出题目以及四个英语叙述之后，选出与所看到的图画最相符的答案。每题只播出一遍。请看例图。请听例题。Look at the picture. Who is taller? A. Julie is taller than Tom. B. Tom is taller than Julie. C. Jane is taller than Tom. D. Julie is taller than Jane. 正确答案为 B， 请在答案纸上涂黑作答。测验即将开始，如果音量太大或太小，请举手告诉监视人员。The test is about to begin. If you have any problem with the volume, please raise your hand now. The test is about to begin. If you have any problem with the volume, please raise your hand now. Now, please open the test test. Now, let's begin the first part. Go diving in the ocean. C, go surfing at the beach. D, go fishing on a boat. Question number four. Please look at picture B again. What are Alan and Mike both wearing? A. They're both wearing waterproof coats for protection against rain. B. They're both wearing sunglasses to protect their eyes from the sun. C. They're both wearing special breathing equipment. D. They're both wearing boots so their feet won't get hurt. For questions number five and six, please look at picture C. Question number five. From the chart, what is probably the time now? 
A. It's 9.50 in the morning. B. It's between 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning. C. It's about noon. D. It's 4.50 in the afternoon. Question number six. Please look at picture C again. Flight 186 will be delayed for 10 minutes. When will it take off? A. At 10 a.m. B. At 11.10 a.m. C. At 3 p.m. D. At 5 p.m. For questions number 7 and 8, please look at picture D. Question number 7. Compare indexes in this forecast. Which statement is correct? A. Hualien has the lowest index. B. Kaohsiung has the highest index. C. The UV index in Taipei is higher than that in Taichung. D. The UV index in Hualien is lower than that in Taidong. Question number 8. Please look at picture D again. Which cities are ranked extremely high on the index? A. Kaohsiung and Taidong. B. Taichung and Kaohsiung. C. Hualien and Taichung. D. Kaohsiung and Hualien. For questions number 9 and 10, please look at picture E, which shows Mary's weekly activities. Question number 9. What does Mary do on Thursday? A. She only goes jogging. B. She studies and goes jogging. C. She studies and plays the violin. D. She goes jogging, studies, and plays the violin. Question number 10. Please look at picture E again. How often does Mary exercise? A. Once a week. B. Twice a week. C. Three times a week. D. Every day. For questions number 11 to 13, please look at picture F. Question number 11. What are the people doing? A. The man sitting on the right is singing along with the music. B. The man next to Emily is writing in a notebook. C. The man standing on the left is painting on the wall. D. The woman standing near the door is talking on the phone. Question number 12. Please look at picture F again. What is Emily wearing? A. A backpack and gloves. B. A scarf and a skirt. C. A shirt and glasses. D. A cap and jeans. Question number 13. 
Please look at picture F again. What is Emily probably saying to the woman? A. I'm going to get off. Please take this seat. B. Excuse me, you're blocking my view. C. I can't hear you. Please speak louder. D. I'm sorry, I feel carsick. For questions number 14 and 15, please look at picture G. Question number 14. Where is the temple? A. It's on the corner of Oak Road and 4th Street, across from the park. B. It's on the corner of Pine Road and 3rd Street, next to the 7-Eleven. C. It's on the corner of Oak Road and 2nd Street, across from the hotel. D. It's on the corner of Oak Road and 3rd Street, across from the park. Question number 15. Please look at picture G again. I'm at the King Hotel. I want to go to the 7-Eleven. How should I get there? A. Walk up 1st Street to Oak Road. Turn left and walk along Oak Road to 3rd Street. Turn right and you'll see it on the corner. B. Walk up 1st Street to Oak Road. Turn left and walk along Oak Road to 3rd Street. Turn left and walk down 3rd Street. You'll see it on the right. C. Walk down 1st Street to Central Road and turn right. Walk along Central Road to 3rd Street. You'll see it on the right. D. Walk down 1st Street to Central Road and turn right. Walk along Central Road to 2nd Street. You'll see it on the left. Where's your brother now? 请看选项 A. He's 20 years old. B. He's a doctor. C. He's thirsty. D. He's in New York. 正确答案为D,请在答案纸上涂黑作答。现在开始听力测验第二部分。Question number 16. When shall we be allowed to enter the theater? Question number 17. How will you be spending the Lunar New Year? Question number 18. I'm afraid that Mr. Stevenson isn't in right now. Question number 19. How much time do you need for your presentation to the class?
Question number twenty. Susie, I don't see my dictionary. Did you take it? Question number twenty one. I bumped into your ex boyfriend at the gym. Question number twenty two. Which department is responsible for the training? Question number twenty three. I have an appointment with Linda, but she hasn't showed up yet. Question number twenty four. Excuse me, waiter, is this dish spicy? Question number twenty five. The light has burned out in the bathroom. Can you fix it? Question number twenty six. Would you be interested in joining our study group for the final exam? Question number twenty seven. What's the weather forecast for the rest of the week? Question number twenty eight. Look at the traffic. We'll never get to the airport in time. Question number twenty nine. I have a bad cold. Do you have anything that can make me feel better? Question number thirty. The police are still investigating the crime. The third part. 简短对话，共十五题，每题请听光碟放音机播出一段对话及一个相关的问题后，从试题册上 A、B、C、D 四个选项中选出一个最适合者作答。每段对话及问题只播出一遍，请听例题。I feel awful. I'm staying home from work. Good idea. Your cold seems a lot worse today. 
Question. What's the matter with the man? 请看选项 A. He didn't pass the test. B. He got the wrong coat. C. He has a bad cold. D. He's out of work. 正确答案为 C. 请在答案纸上涂黑作答。现在开始听力测验第三部分。Question number thirty-one. I wonder what will be on the lunch menu today. I hope it's something tasty. I'm really hungry. Well, I hope the queue won't be too long. I was late for my history class yesterday. Me too. I ended up being punished. Let's hurry then. Here's a tray. Now, what shall we have? Question: Where do you think this conversation is taking place? Question number thirty-two. Doctor. Why has my back been hurting so much recently, George? As I've said before, you need to lose weight. These back problems are a result of your extra weight. I've been trying to eat less. That's a start. I hope you're exercising regularly too. I walk the dog every evening. It's going to take more than that. Question. What does the doctor think about the man's effort to lose weight? Question number thirty-three. What are you going to wear to the dinner party on Saturday? I thought I would wear my black suit and a tie. What about you? Have you chosen anything yet? Well, I wanted to know what you were going to wear before I made up my mind. Why not that long blue dress you got last year? Isn't that too formal? I don't think so. Question: What is the main subject of the conversation? Question number thirty-four. Jerry, do you watch Major League Baseball? From the USA? Yes, sometimes. Why do you ask? I heard that there are three players from Taiwan in that league now. I was wondering which teams they are on. You know, I'm not sure. I think one of them plays for Seattle, but I don't know about the rest. I could find out for you if you'd like. I'd appreciate that. Question: What would the woman like to learn? Question number thirty-five. Well, I like it. But I think twenty thousand NT dollars a month is too high. Not for this area. This neighborhood is very convenient in terms of public transportation. There are buses that go almost everywhere in the city, and remember, all the furniture you see will stay here. I'll have to think about it. May I call you this evening? Certainly. Question: What is the woman doing? Question number thirty-six. I'm looking forward to seeing that new film at the cinema. Everyone says that it's really terrifying. I am not. I don't like horror films. Can't we see a comedy instead? Or what about a musical? 
You chose last time. Now it's my turn to choose. You can hold my hand if you get frightened. I don't think so. You go by yourself. Question. What type of film does the man want to see? Question number 37. Look, these sports shoes are on sale, and they're your size. Why don't you try them on? No, thanks. They're last year's style, which is probably why they're on sale. Oh, I forgot. You always want the latest style, don't you? Of course. That's what all my friends wear. Question. What does the man imply about the shoes? Question number 38. I enjoyed meeting your co-workers at the concert on Saturday. They were impressed with you, too. What did they say? They said you were handsome, and you played the guitar very well. That's quite a compliment, huh? It sure is. One of them even asked where to buy your CD. I hope you told them. Actually, I said you'd probably give her one. Question. What did the man do on Saturday evening? Question number 39. How many people from our club are going to the amusement park on Saturday? Eight so far including you and me. That means we need at least two more people. Why is that? Because entrance tickets are $50 cheaper per person for groups of 10 or more. Question. What does the man imply about the size of the group right now? Question number 40. How do you think you did on that biology test? Terrible. I studied really hard for it, but I think I'm just no good at science. That's the one thing I am good at. It's the Chinese test tomorrow that has me worried. Oh, that should be a piece of cake. Well, here's my stop. I've got to go. Oh, no, I only have eight dollars. Here's seven more. You can pay me back tomorrow. Thanks. Question. Where are the speakers? Question number 41. I'm planning a trip to London. Where did you stay while you were there last year? At the Royal Hotel but I wouldn't recommend it. Why not? Didn't you like your room? No, that was fine. The problem was the service, which was poor, and I didn't like the food in the restaurants either. If I were you, I'd stay at the Ritz Hotel. I've heard it's much better. Question. What was the man satisfied with at the Royal Hotel? Question number 42. Hello? Michael, it's Sandy. How are you feeling? Better. I think I just need some more rest. Unfortunately, some workers are tearing down walls upstairs, so I haven't been able to sleep. Would you like to rest at my place? It's quiet there. No, thanks. 
I'll just put some cotton in my ears and try to rest here. Question. According to the man, why hasn't he been able to sleep? Question number 43. Sean, it's hot in your apartment. Why don't you turn on your air conditioner? I'm trying to save money on electricity. But doesn't the heat make you uncomfortable? Actually, I'm quite used to it now. Well, I don't know how you can stand the heat. I use the air conditioner in my apartment all the time during the summer. Question. What does Sean want to do? Question number 44. Your father is a construction engineer? Yes. He's worked on many big projects around the world. Is that why you lived in so many different countries as a child? That's right. Wherever his job took him, my family went along. Was that difficult? It was hard leaving my friends behind whenever we moved. But I think that I benefited from living in different cultures. Question. What did the man find difficult when his family moved to a new country? Question number 45. Brian, we received a complaint from the Prince Furniture Company. About what? They feel you're not devoting enough time to their account. But I spend three days at their offices every week. I know, but we can't afford to lose them. I've got an idea. What is it? How about working at their office full time for a while? If it will make them happy, I'll do it. Question. Why does Brian's boss suggest a new working arrangement? This is the end of the listening comprehension test. 听力测验结束。